This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the files in C. Our files are the building blocks of every operating system. We can say that files are the virtual container to store some data. So in uh, other tutorials, we have used variable to store data. So when our program terminated, then the value stored in that variable were lost. So if you want to save something in the memory, permanently then you can these files and store it so let's see how we can use these files in c so to use a file in c first you have to open that file so for that purpose this stdio.h header file provides a function for you and that function is called fopen as a parameter to this fopen function first we have to specify the file name that we want to open then the mode at which we want to open so this file name is the name of the file with the extension. So if you are opening a text file, then you have to specify file name .txt. If you are opening a let's say .c file, then you have to specify file name .c. So then the mode is pretty much like what you want to do with that file. So if you want to open the file for reading, then you can specify this mode as R, R for reading. And make a note that you have to specify this mode in double quotes. So you can't sp specify this mode in single quotes. That's because you know this mode is a string value. Now, when this fopen function opens this file using this mode r, first it's gonna search for that file. So if that file is present, then it's gonna open that file for you. If that file is not present there, then it's gonna return a null value. Then if you want to open the file for writing, then you have to specify this mode as w. So when you open this file with the mode w, this fopen is gonna search for that file in the disk. So if that file is there, it's gonna delete that file and it's gonna uh, recreate that file for you. So, so the contents in that file will be lost. So it's gonna be an empty file. So if, if your file is not present in the disk, then this fopen is gonna create that file and open it for you. So the next thing is if you want to edit or append to that file then you can open it with the mode a so when you open this file with the mode a if that file is there then this f open is gonna open that file and the contents of that file will not be lost it will be present and if you want you can edit to that file if your file is not there then this f open is gonna create that file for you so the next mode is r plus so if you use the mode as R plus, then you can uh, open that file for reading and writing purpose. So similar to R, if that file is not there, then it's gonna return a null value. So if that file is present, then you know, it's gonna open that file for you. So the next one is W plus. So similar to W, if that file is there, then uh, the contents of that file will be lost and you'll be presented with an empty file and uh, you can edit, read and write from that file using this w plus. So the last one is called a plus. So when if you use this mode as a plus then if that if your file is present in the disk then it's gonna open that file for you for reading and writing. And the contents of that file will not be lost and it will be there and uh, you can edit to that file. So if your file is not present in the disk then that file is gonna be created and open for you so this is about the normal file so then if you want to work with a binary file then you have to suffix it with a b here that's for indicating that okay i'm working with a binary file it's gonna be rb wb ab then r plus b w plus b and a plus b so the next thing is when we work with the file you ha we have to remember a lot of things for example the file name the mode at which we have opened the file then we have to remember last byte or last word which is read from the file last byte or last word which is written to the file and many things so for that purpose you know this stdio.h header file provides a structure for us and the structure is called file so when we use this fopen function to open a file with a specific mode if that file is present in the disk then this fopen is gonna return the address to this structure file so that structure is gonna contain all the information about that file 
since this f open is going to return the address of the structure of type file we need a pointer of type file it's going to be star let's call it f pointer so now i'm going to delete all these things in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're just going to create a text file so to create a file we have to open it first it's going to be f open then the file name we call it as uh, anil.txt then the mode so since we are running this program the first time you know the file will not be there so that's why we want to create that file that's why i'm going to specify this mode as w so then this f open is going to return the address of the structure which contains all the information about this file that's why we have to assign it with the with this pointer f pointer that's why I'm going to write f pointer equal to f open of anil.txt and w. So if this f pointer is contains some value or some address, then we can say that, that that file which we specified here is opened successfully. So if this f pointer contains a null value, then we can say that uh, this f open unable to open the file. So we can test that by using if condition if f pointer equal to equal to null then we can say that uh, printf unable to create the file then else that means you know this f pointer contains the address of the structure and we can say that file opened successfully so now at the last thing we have to do is when we open that file we have to close it that's why here we're gonna close it it's gonna be f close the function name then we have to pass the pointer it's gonna be f pointer so this is it the next thing I want to explain here is you know this uh, files.c is present in my desktop so when I compile this program you know files.exe will be created at the desktop only so when we run our program that is when we run our file dot files.exe you know this anil.txt file will be created at the location where that file.exe is present in this case that files.exe is present in my desktop that's why this anil.txt is gonna be created in the desktop so save it compile it and run it so as you can see here file open successfully that means that you know this uh, f open function created a file for us successfully so now I'm gonna minimize it and uh, open up my desktop so this is my desktop as you can see here my files.c and files.exe is present in the desktop that's why this anil.txt is created in the desktop and I'm gonna open it so as you can see here it's an empty file here another thing we wanna do is we're gonna delete this file now now anil.txt is not present and for the demonstration purpose we're gonna make it R now we are opening the file with the mode R so when we use this mode R, if that file is present, then only this F pointer is going to return the structure address. So now that file is not present. We have deleted that file. That's why this F open is going to return a null value. That's why we, can, we will get unable to create the file. So we're going to save it, compile it and run it. So as you can see here, unable to create the file. So similarly, we're going to change it to A, save it. So now you know this file will be created for us uh, similar to w save it compile it and run it so as you can see file opened successfully i'm gonna close it and uh, i'm gonna open up my desktop so as you can see here you know this anil.txt is present so i'm gonna open it so this is it this is about the files in C. In the next tutorial, we're gonna see some more information about the files, like uh, how we can edit some contents to that file and how we can read from that file. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.